Hey, I'm Helen Munz with Utah State University Extension. Uh, today I'm here at the Ogden Botanical Gardens and I wanted to share with everyone just some information and fun activities that you can do to get your kids involved with the garden. Uh, there are some amazingly unbelievable statistics out there with the benefits that come from involving your, your children in gardening activities. Uh, some of the obvious ones, of course, are uh, just health related, getting kids out there physically active, out in the sunshine, um, very good uh, statistics on cardiorespiratory health in youth that have been involved in gardens. But also then, of course, the vegetable and fruit consumption actually increases quite a bit. I mean, kids love to eat uh, vegetables or fruits that they get to pick out of their own garden. And um, it also shows that studies have shown that adolescents and college age kids tend to consume more fruits and vegetables uh, when they gardened in their childhood than those who have not. So you have these long-term health benefits. Um, and then the other thing, of course, is that the act of gardening, especially with kids, is it's just a great way to get this hands-on, real-life experience on science learning. So the biology and chemistry behind the soil and the insects and um, how, how everything kind of ties together in the garden and how the plants grow um, is a really great experience for children. Um, and then also when you're doing it with the family or maybe it's an after school program or it's a school garden or a club, uh, children actually are able to build relationships and learn some responsibility when they're out in the garden um, and studies have proven that as well. So it's, it's really important to, especially if you're at home and you're, you have a backyard garden, get kids involved. Uh, and lastly, um, kids actually, they start to get really exposed to the idea of where their food comes from. So why is it different when it's out of your garden than when you buy it at the grocery store? And environmental stewardship. So what kind of things that, that people do that actually infect, uh, affect the environment, whether it's positive or negatively. And so, you know, incorporating some of the ideas like recycling and composting and all those sort of things. So today I would like to show you just some fun, simple ways to get your kids involved. Um, and, and start trying some of these new fun activities with your kids or grandkids or nephews and nieces at home. So the most important part about getting kids um, excited about gardening is to make sure that it's super fun. So uh, you want to think about some super act fun activities for kids to get them really engaged. Um, one thing that I got for my son for his birthday, actually his grandma did, just kid-sized tools and a little tote bag. He loves them with little spades and shovels, watering can. Kids love hauling water around, doing the chores, but anything involving water, they love. The other good tip is um, getting them excited about bugs. So kids just, they love bugs. Any age, they love bugs. Make a bug collection, do some composting, collect worms and put them in your compost. Um, here I have a um, compost bin. This is one that we've used for the Junior Master Gardener program and they absolutely loved it. This is called a Worm Hotel and I bought it online. It's pretty pricey, but there's a lot of cool instructional videos and fact sheets out there on how to make your own for a little bit cheaper. So here's the Worm Hotel and this has red worms in it and so you can also buy those online but as you can see we just put some of our um, fruit and vegetable scraps. Oh look and they're going nuts on that. I don't know if you can see that but look at these wormies going crazy. And it's so cool because they'll just eat up all the vegetable scraps and they make this wonderful composted dirt. So kids really like it. It's something I would encourage. And it's also something that you can actually use indoors. Um, and if you make it right, it can be pretty clean. It doesn't stink. So that's kind of a fun way to get kids into um, bugs and composting and uh, recycling our kitchen scraps. 
So another thing to get kids really excited about being out in the garden is having um, some fun garden art activity or incorporating like fun structures and things like a green bean teepee or a structure like this behind that just makes it a little bit more enticing and fun. Uh, there's a lot of ideas out there on different types of garden art. You can make bird houses, you can paint rocks, um, pinwheels are super fun for kids and those kind of things. But another important thing is to try to keep it simple when you're starting the garden with children. So give them their own little separate plot where they can plan out what they want to do or just kind of get them interested and excited by doing some um, pretty easy to grow things. So things I like to grow are um, that are pretty easy to grow are just the sugar snap peas and the green beans to go on my green bean teepee. Um, carrots and lettuce are really great. Spinach, um, radishes of course. Um, so a lot of things that are pretty simple to eat, uh, to, to grow, start with that so that you're not discouraging, especially the younger kids. And then the top um, pick, pick and eat vegetables that kids tend to love are definitely the sweet peas and the cherry tomatoes. Uh, carrots are a big favorite with kids. Uh, the green beans, and you can get pole or bush beans. Um, and so you know you just kind of try different things of course fruits are, are great so strawberries are super fun um, if you have room for a fruit tree apples and peaches are great now if you don't have a lot of room in your backyard um, or your front yard my gardens in my front yard but uh, if you just have a small patio or porch or something you can always do a little kid garden and you don't have to spend a lot of money on necessarily a raised bed or anything like that I like to use old tree pots from when I've bought big shrubs or trees at the nursery or sometimes they might sell them to you for cheap or donate. You can spray paint them so they're not just kind of black and scroungy. But this will hold, I've grown peas in these, I've grown cherry tomatoes and other things and they're a good size to hold a good amount of dirt. So that's another fun thing to do with the kiddos. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video today and that you got some great tips on getting kids involved with gardening. Um, if, you're, if you want to learn more about how to do that, we've got some great programs coming up. We have a Junior Master Gardener program here at the Ogden Botanical Gardens in June. And there's another Junior Master Gardener program happening in July at the USU Botanical Center in Kaysville. You can find more information on that at extension.usu.edu under the calendar events. And if you have any questions about it, feel free to call your local extension office and we'll help you out. I hope you enjoyed the video today and happy gardening!